I was casing the place out, right? Thought I was casing the joint out. Nah, man. I'm trying to be the first one in. Get this rim. Or pick up this load. You know what that means, right? You know what that means? It is... Six thirty. I probably got here quarter after six. What time are they scheduled to open? Eight o'clock. Wait a minute. Let me check. Either eight o'clock or seven o'clock. I'm pretty sure it's eight o'clock. So what is my point? And so by knowing that, man, you know, you're competing at. Competing with less people for getting work done. So I knew that there was a place to park, to wait, and that I could come here early and wait. And there's only, you know, that's not the posted information. That's not the posted time that they, they actually opened earlier. And so only I'm only having to hope other people who are aware of that don't get here first. You see what I'm saying? Get a trailer you want to get a trailer that has these vents one in the front one in the back the reason why I see my product is outside today and it's going to be wet rain last night and so in order for the load the trailer to be dry when I get to where I'm going, then I need to leave the vents open so that it can uh, dry the product out. It's just plastic sheets. The last load I got, it was raining when I picked it up. When I got down there, left the inside. See that vent up there?
sideways here, but if there's not a dock beside me, I like to have a little angle on my truck, just a little one. So when somebody else bags in, I gave them a little extra, a little extra to work with. But you can argue two ways. But you see, they, that <clears throat> that lane beside that dock beside me has that hole up there. So, especially in a situation like this, instead of just being 100% straight, I like to park with just a little bit of angle in the tractor, so that they got, they got that little extra room. And that'll occur sometimes, a lot of times, in a more tighter parking space. And sometimes uh, to avoid being, to avoid hanging in the street, you need to do that. Or to allow other traffic to come by, you need to do that. So it's situational awareness that will help you determine the need to park at an angle. Not the trip, the whole truck, trailer need to be straight in the dock still but you might want to back in such a way that at the end of your backing you can have the truck parked at an angle and the trailer be straight if that makes sense Check the floor of your trailer to make sure you don't see any daylight. You don't want to see, of course you don't want to see daylight on the walls, but you know, that's going to be pretty obvious and you're probably going to see that <laughs> as soon as it occurs. Uh, and I, that I know of, that don't occur that often. You got to tear the trailer up pretty bad, but an older trailer, it's kind of easy for the wood to draw up and leave daylight between the cracks like this. And if you saw my video the other day, then I used dark brown caulking, wood caulking, to fill in my cracks. It was a, I only had a few, but that's all it took for them to deny me a load one time. So I filled that in. Don't take it to the trailer shop. Paying them labor charges. And all you got to do is get a $5 tube of caulking and a little putty knife. You can get a little plastic putty knife from the dollar store. 
and half an hour, you're done. 15 minutes really good, you know. Also the side walls, where they will tear your trailer up. See, this, this is one that I need to get repaired. I went to a shop, they wanted me to wait too long. One shop wanted to repair the whole strip, which I feel is unnecessary. And the other one said that they would just put some bolts in right here. But at the most, I feel like you can put a plate across it and tighten it up. That's at the most. I don't need to replace the whole strip. But anyway, you wanna check that as well.